Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no ball video. That's part, part 3 of the cooking series with the Philips pressure cooker. And the first part I was describing the cooker, second part I was placing all ingredients in. As you can hear, it's just about to finish and zero zero means that my timer of 55 minutes I put in lapsed and as a final LED uh, turn on that means keep warm so the pressure cooker stays pressurized right and the cooking itself stop so that's a safety feature of Philips that I really like if you if you're not around and uh, cook and finish it won't overcook it uh, and it will keep it warm so the part three it's most uh, interesting because funny bit is you never know how good um, that you cook is inside but to be honest Philips never let me down every time I open that lid uh, the food cooked well the food is delicious and is in my opinion one of the most healthy eating saving time saving energy saving anything now to open that lid, there's a couple of safety mechanisms we need to bypass, they will be quite noisy. So what I'll do, I'll show you how it works and be careful when you're doing this, that's the only, a little bit, uh, not dangerous, but a little bit of, uh, I guess, part that you need to be more careful than any other parts of cooking. So what we do, um, I will turn it off the wall, everything goes off and the first thing I need to do is release pressure from a cooker. There's a couple of safety mechanisms until you release pressure, it won't allow me to twist it. So if you try to twist uh, top and it's not twisting, that means the safety mechanism still uh, detecting steam inside the pressure cooker. Let's do that, it may take up to 30-40 seconds. Sorry for the noise, just bear with me and we'll dive in and open it up. So we're twisting uh, the knob down or kind of right and it's twisting from a seal position to a vent position and all that uh, pressure should be released. Let's start. By the way, it smells really delicious. If you remember in part two, I put bay leaves and uh, peppercorns uh, with combination of the cooked meat smell, bay leaves and peppercorns create such a delicious smell. And I'm pretty sure it tastes even better than it smells. Um, however, you know, tongue, it's traditional Russian, Ukrainian, I think uh, a couple of other countries tradition. I know it's really awkward for some Westerners to consume, um, I guess, those parts, but trust me, uh, the taste of that meat is phenomenal. The tongue is uh, very gentle, tender meat, and it's, uh, if cooked well, it's a delicious meat. But um, taste is taste. If, you, if it's not your, uh, not pun intended, cup of tea, I understand. Um, let's have a look what's inside and it should totally be cooked. All right, beautiful. So that's the lid we just removed and we'll take a fork and get those tongues out, put on the plate. Um, that's the first one. And that's the second one. they ready, they tender, they look very delicious. So when they cool down a little bit, we remove the outer layer, which is uh, kind of top of the tongue skin, and it will become pure meat, uh, nice delicious meat. If you have any questions, uh, where to buy a cooker or how to cook, or anything to do with Philips, 
um, pressure cooker put comments down below and if you'd like me to cook anything else on pressure cooker and show how easy it is um, I can do that but trust me taste it's one thing it's very consistent if you put all right ingredients in um, the meat comes out very tender very beautiful and by the way after cooking if you're cooking anything to do with bones like for example lamb leg or uh, spare ribs or even um, tongue you can use that soup or broth that's left there for other things for example um, I buy uh, prawns or an American shrimps and peel them and put in that uh, uh, broth uh, and, and, and reheat or you can uh, cook meat separately and put in a broth it's just delicious entree menu uh, item for any lunch in my own opinion but anyway here we go um, in 55 minutes from nothing from a fridge to um, complete meal times are ready and will be part of um, our I guess lunch or dinner tonight thank you so much for watching until next time, Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Happy cooking!